Hello. Well, I thought about gatekeeping this, but I realized that that's not the type of person I want to be when it comes to stuff like this. So I've seen a lot of people uh, making edits or downloading YouTube videos or whatever the hell, and they're using tools that you get when you Google YouTube video downloader. Uh, tools that limit you to 720p and you have to watch an ad or you got to download something and get a program which is more of an app and then you got to buy something and it's dumb it's ridiculous nikavision has an app that we're going to talk about today two versions specifically called parabolic now the two versions are going to be as you can see here 2025.1.4 and 2025.5.0 now 0.5.0 is the newer one. There is an update coming out soon. Uh, this is for me. But the, the audio codec that it uses is Opus. And Opus is not natively supported by Windows 11 or the Windows Media Player or the legacy media Windows Player unless you have a codec pack installed or a program like VLC. It's really not much better than the 0.1.4 version. So we're going to talk about the 0.1.4 version, but we're going to do the same things in the 0.5 version. Now, Parabolic is a great downloader for YouTube. You go over here and let me go get a URL real quick. All right, so I got a URL. I want to showcase this too. Once you click add a download on either of them, they will automatically recognize the URL in your uh, clipboard, which is great. Now you don't have to worry about the authenticate thing. This is only if you have a YouTube video that is privated and you have the credentials for that video, such as the username, email, password, stuff like that. Now over here, you can choose your file type. You can do all of the file types, pretty much the main ones, generic video, MP4, WebM, MKV, QuickTime, AVI, Audio Generic, MP3, QuickTime, Opus, Flack, Windows, stuff like that. So we're gonna do MP4. And you always I always choose the best. This is a virtual machine, so I really don't care too much. Click download, it'll download. You go over here on the other one, it's the exact same stuff. Some of the options were moved to a different tab. The subtitles are also there. You can get auto-generated subtitles. Just click OK. Boom, bang, bang. As you can see, it's downloading. Now, it's going to be pretty slow if you have a gig internet speed. It's going to go at the buffer rate of the video from YouTube. It's going to download two things. It's going to download first the video, then the audio, and it's going to render it really quickly together. Now this is processing still. I think it might be because I'm using the same file type. Yeah. So it, this has been completed, but this is gonna overwrite it. So we're just gonna let that be. And there we go, we go to completed. See, error, it's because there was a video right here. Now we'll click play. I use the same file name. So we can't use it because it uses the Opus format. That's fine. If you have VLC, it'll work. But what we can do is we can download it again. Now I'm going to download this again. I'm going to skip it out because I don't want this video to be long. But what I will say is I'm going to leave a repository of both this version and this version on a link. It's going to be a Google Drive. They are also on GitHub. But if you want a quick link, I'll leave both of these open on a Google Drive and you'll be able to download them and use them as you wish. You get full quality all the time. Okay, so the audio file is about to be done for the MP4. Do, 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 processing. It's putting it together really quickly. Again, this is Parabolic by Nikavision, 2025.1.4. Okay, now we'll go to completed. Boom, we'll click play. For what? He didn't do anything. It's my bitch. There you go. And you have it. That's it. Look at this faggot. So, there you go. 
please use this video downloader. I don't want anybody contributing to ads or buying things online for online tools or stupid apps that don't work or they're from China. Please, thank you. In the description, I'll leave a link um, to my repositories on my Google Drive. I will also go back later, maybe tomorrow, and leave a link to the GitHub repository. Thank you. Have a great day.